My name is Natalie Burkhart, and this is my last lecture. Memories fade in my Chapter 1, An Injured Lion Still Wants to Roar When I compare myself to an animal, I automatically think of a red panda, because they eat and sleep a lot. But these walls, they can't hear you no more, no more. Chapter 4, The Parent Lottery I think that I got very lucky to have the parents that I do, and I wouldn't trade them for the world. And I wish time never mattered, cause silence keeps clouding me. Chapter 7, I never made it to the NFL. My parents are always the ones to push me to do things, even if I don't want to do them, eventually making me better at them, even if I didn't like what I was doing. Chapter 11, The Happiest Place on Earth The happiest place on earth for me wouldn't be a place, but a state of mind. It would be in my room with my dog, listening to music, relaxing by myself. Chapter 21, J. The people that support me the most is probably my family and friends, who I wouldn't trade for the world, because they are always there for me. Chapter 24, A Recovering Jerk Most people think that I'm a jerk because I tell them the truth that most people wouldn't. Chapter 28, Dream Big when I was little, people always used to tell me that I could never be what I wanted because it was too unrealistic. But looking back on it, I think that helped me because it made me more motivated to work for what I want. Chapter 53, Never Give Up. My parents taught me that if I really wanted something, I have to give 110% effort 100% of the time if I really wanted to achieve my goal. Chapter 56, Tigger or Eeyore. When comparing myself to Tigger or Eeyore, I will definitely say that I am more Tigger. Chapter 61, 
the dreams will come to you. Having fun and living life is the best part about living. So I would say just to have fun with it and not stress too much about the little things that won't really matter in your future. The end. Neck yourself.